Hello everyone, welcome back to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The Penderwicks at Last, Chapter 7, Boba Links. Now, in this chapter, um, Batty and Alice and Lydia, they go to Cagney's old, um, I don't want to call it a shack, but it's kind of a just like a small one-room apartment. And while they're there, um, Batty decides she needs to clean the apartment of all the spiders, which there are a lot. And so she asks Lydia and Alice to go play somewhere else. So Alice tells Lydia that she's going to take her to her secret spot. And Alice cover, well, she doesn't cover Lydia's eyes, but she tells Lydia to close your eyes and don't peek. And Lydia takes her around in different places and she spins her around and until finally they arrive in the back meadow. In the back meadow, Alice has a blanket and some food and they just lay down in the grass and look up at the blue, beautiful sky. And there they talk about some things and practice whistling and um, hooting. Hoo, hoo. And when they practice, the boba lynx um, whistle, one actually comes. And this is a picture of a boba lynx here. I didn't know what they looked like. It's just kind of a bird, but maybe it's a special bird or a beautiful bird. But this bird comes really close to Lydia and Alice. And Alice says, the boba lynx is welcoming you to Arendelle. And this just makes Lydia feel like, whoa! She feels so happy and full of energy. And she starts dancing, I think. Well, Alice has to go home. And so Lydia goes back to Batty. Batty finishes cleaning out the spiders. And then they decide um, to, um, to clean, clean the apartment because it's dirty. They also got a call um, from Iantha, who Jane, who talked to Mr. Penderwick, who talked to Jeffrey. I don't know, but everyone is talking and um, Mrs. Tufton will not come back or Batty at least won't have to meet Mrs. Tufton again. And Ben and Jane are going to come back as soon as possible tomorrow. Well, it ends with Batty and Lydia cleaning. There's a lot of vocabulary in this chapter that might be new to you. Um, if I didn't get all of them, Feel free to write some that you want to know in the comments, or we can talk about them uh, when we have our meeting together. The first one is serene. Um, Bat or Lydia sees a serene pond. Serene means like peaceful. <sighs> peaceful. Serene. The um, the landscape can look serene. Maybe it looks peaceful. The wind is blowing and it looks um, just gentle and quiet. Or you can have peace in yourself. Disorienting. This is when you get dizzy or you don't know which way is what way. So when Lydia gets spun around by Alice, she's, um, where, where, where was the house? Where was she doesn't know where she's going. She's disoriented. She doesn't know which way she's going. Heightened senses. Now, a sense, you already know. Um, taste, touch, smell, feel, look. Um, these are your five senses. And heightened means stronger. So when Lydia is closing her eyes, and I want you to close your eyes too with me. And she's just listening. What do you hear? When you close your eyes, your other senses become stronger. Maybe you can smell something. I don't know. But for Lydia, she had her eyes closed for so long and she's walking. So she's trying to see the world with other senses, with her ears, with her nose, and her senses are becoming stronger or heightened. 
Um, it's a pretty good practice just to practice sometimes, just closing your eyes and just listening to the cars outside, to your neighbors, to the clock on the wall, different kinds of things, or even smelling stuff. Well, when Lydia and Alice are walking through the tall meadow grass, the bugs are jumping away, um, having their inner sanctum disturbed. Inner sanctum is like the secret, secret, deep place in a temple. Like the holy, holy place that no one should go. It's so special. It's the inner sanctum. And um, that Lydia feels like she is crossing into the insects little houses right she's crossing their inner sanctums and i believe the last one here is solemn and solemn is a feeling that um, lydia feels at least twice in this chapter which is this deep sense of wow imagine if you go into a really big old church and it has so much beautiful art and you just, wow, you don't want to talk very loud because it's so special, right? That's this feeling of solemn, um, serious, and holy. And this is kind of how Lydia feels. Oh, one more. Wow, there were a lot of vocabulary words. Effusively, and this just means a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I can't remember how does it why do we use this in the story something happens effusively maybe you apologize <gasps> oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry oh I'm really 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 sorry right you do something very strongly a lot this is effusively a discussion question I have for you is have you ever been disoriented? Now, I'm sure with friends you've spun in a circle and you've played games. Maybe you can tell us about that. What was it like when you were disoriented? Or maybe you went to a new place and you've never been there before and you didn't know how to get to some other place. Maybe you were disoriented. And for the last one, please write your own discussion question. Write it in the comments so that way other people can read it and prepare their answers. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me for another book club preview. Bye bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.